We are back, guys, and it is craft day number five. That is awesome. So, today is ghost day. Um, (laughs) We're going to make ghosts two ways today. We are going to make a hanging ghost out of these ornaments, some creepy cloth, and some ribbon to hang it up with. And whatever you would like to use to make your face with. The other ghost we're going to do is more for a little bit of a younger style kid. You're going to draw your face on those paper cups there. And attach some streamers with your handy dandy Elmer's school glue over there. So we're going to get into ghosts two ways. Okay, guys, so you're going to want to divide up your creepy cloth into fourths or however many people you have. And so at this point, I'm just going to let the girls cut them into whatever shapes they want and make them however thick they want their goes. It doesn't really matter. This is the up to you part. Um, You can see that there's like holes, like it's meshed. See, it's like meshed. So just go ahead and stick your pieces of your ornament through that little area there. So everybody can decide what they want to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut my creepy cloth in half again to where I have two layers of each side. I'm just going to... Okay. guys we are back and as you saw they were putting their stuff together and here is their finished ghost faces here's mine mine's just a cute little ghost she thought it's a naked one <laughs> awesome there's everybody's ghost faces Ooh. <laughs> next ghosty we have paper cups in white You're going to go ahead and have your kids take these, and they're going to do their ghost face on them with the paint real quick, or paper, whatever, however you wanted to do it. We're going to paint ours. Alright guys, we're back. We have made our ghost faces. Alright. And we have cut lengths of our ribbon. Go ahead and take your ribbon length, probably about as long as your arm, however long you want it. Uh, Tie you a knot in the end. And then you're going to tie another knot in the end, the same end, in the same place as the first knot that you just knotted. To make your knot extra big. Okay? Okay. Everybody got that? Yes. Two knots in the open end of your ribbon. Okay? Okay. Alright. And then take the closed end of your ribbon. And you're going to need a grown-up, if you are not one, to poke a hole in the end of your cup. You're going to go from the inside of your cup and thread your ribbon through your hole to the outside of your cup. All right, guys, now your next step is to take your crepe paper and decide how long you want your ghostly tendrils to be hanging. Go ahead and decide how long it is, then just rip it off. Then you're going to take your paintbrush 
in this little bit of glue here. And just put a little bit of glue on the end of your crepe paper. Brush it on there for a second. Take your ghosty. And on the inside is where you're going to put that. Do, 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 do. Just like that. See there? We're just going to glue him on the inside. On the outside. On the inside. Now, if you would like, you can just put glue on the inside of your cup. Yeah. And then stick your crepe paper on there. So it's whichever way you deem is easier or more mess free for your children or whoever you're watching. Doesn't really matter. Either way will still work. Are done and here's our ghosts. I think they turned out really cute. Everybody's a really nice. We're gonna go ahead and hang these up somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. But they were really cute and everything took us all of like maybe 45 minutes total to do both of them. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I think that's about it for today. Tomorrow, join us for a, another spooktacular video, of course, because we will be moving on to day six of Halloween. So, peace. Bye. Bye.